Hey guys, I'm Kathy, and today I'm going to show you how to create this chocolate frog box. This is what our design is going to look like in Tinkercad. I was inspired to make this piece because I was looking through the different options on Tinkercad and I saw a pentagon. And then I thought of the chocolate frogs that are sold on the Hogwarts Express in Harry Potter. This box is made out of PLA filament and was made by the great team here at Kira Kira. You can also have your design printed if you submit your work to Kira Kira. I'll show you how to do that at the end of this class. We're going to be using Autodesk Tinkercad and to access this software you can go to tinkercad.com and make a free account. Click on Create New Design. To make a pentagon, click on Shape Generators, Tinkercad, and drag this polygon to your work plane. I know it doesn't look like a pentagon right now, but if you unclick the pointed option, there you go. There's our pentagon. To check the size, hover over the corner and you'll see that it is 38 millimeters by 36 millimeters, which translates to approximately two inches. So we'll keep it like that. And to make it an actual box, we're going to need to cut out a pentagon from this original pentagon. Command C to copy and Command V to paste. And now we have two pentagons. Let's change the color of this pentagon to, if you click on color up here, let's change it to green and we're going to cut away from the gray one. Make this smaller, otherwise you're gonna cut away the entire pentagon. A good size for the edge of the box would be three millimeters. Since this is 38 millimeters wide, we're gonna make this one 35 millimeters wide. To preserve the ratio of these dimensions, we're going to hold down shift as you drag and then move it over to the gray and you can click on this arrow to see the top view and then let's zoom in a little bit. So you can't see the green pentagon. Where did it go? Don't worry, it is still here. You just need to make the gray one a little shorter and then you'll be able to see the green. And right now it is 10 millimeters high which is half an inch, which is a little short. We're going to reveal this green one for a sec. And we're going to make this gray box, let's make it 20 millimeters high. And then to cut away from it, we're going to want to leave a little bit of material at the bottom, maybe 3 millimeters. So since this box is 20 millimeters high and we want a 3 millimeter base, this green pentagon therefore needs to be at least 17 millimeters. But we're going to make it, yeah, let's make it 25 just so we can see it more clearly. Just drag your pentagons together so that you can see the green one stick out on top of the gray one. To adjust, we're going to change our snap grid to 0.1 so that you can do more minute changes to where your pentagon is. And let's drag both of these closer to the center so we can see. And I'm actually gonna make my green pentagon a little bit smaller, so hold down shift and drag the corners. There you go. I just did that so that we'd be able to see the edges more clearly. And if you click on the down arrow, you'll be able to see the cross section. And then if you click on this green pentagon and drag it up, you can see on the right of this pentagon, it says 1.4 millimeters. And that's the distance of the bottom. And we want it to be at least two millimeters, just so that it has enough thickness at the bottom. And to make it a cutout, we're going to click on the green and click on hole up here. And that's going to create a hole. And then if we select both of these pentagons and click group, then it'll actually do the cutting of the box. And there you go. There is your box. Looks great. All right, to learn how to make the lid, check out the video on how to design a chocolate frog box lid. Now that you know how to create this open box, 
check out our class at kirakira.com and look at all the other designs that we have available. Thanks for watching this video and good luck learning Tinkercad.